Hello everybody and welcome to Astrology Coaching uh, by Anatoly. Today we are going to discuss the eclipse on 30th of April this year, 2022. Uh, before starting with uh, the um, eclipse thing, I just want to mention that this is Vedic astrology. It is not Western astrology and Vedic and Western astrology is different type of astrology. So uh, you should uh, be aware of that and the things that we are discussing and uh, the sectors and the planets and everything are according to the sidereal system, not the tropical, which we use in Western astrology. Vedic astrology is using the sidereal uh, system. This is important. Uh, the other thing is if you want to learn Vedic Astrology, I have my own online Vedic Astrology course for beginners that you can find in the link below. Uh, it is in uh, Thinkific and it is a course for beginners. It is explained in an easy way with light boards you can check the video in YouTube. I have a special video or something like explanation of the course. So it is very useful and very good course. So if you want to learn Vedic Astrology, you can check it in Thinkific. So now we are going to um, discuss the eclipse on 30th April 2022. And uh, if you know about Vedic Astrology, uh, you should know that uh, um, Rahu and Ketu are the planets that are causing the, the, that are causing the eclipses. So on 30th of April, Rahu will be this point together with the sun and the moon that will make the eclipse. Uh, basically, some astrologers says, say that the eclipse the, uh, is felt for a few months. So for example, if uh, uh, the eclipse is on 30th of April, you will feel the effects of this uh, eclipse in the next three, four, some astrologer says even six months. Of course, uh, if in order to know uh, what will be okay the mic is on in order to know what will be the effect uh, of uh, from this eclipse what events will happen um, you should know your natal chart this is the most important thing uh, you should know where is mars because the eclipse will be in aries on 30th of april and you should know what what is going on in uh, in the field of uh, in the sector of aries you should know uh, where is Mars, which is the ruler of Aries? If it's strong, if it if Mars is strongly placed and you have strong uh, Aries in your chart, this means that you have uh, better events and better opportunities that are coming from this eclipse. But if Mars is ill placed, this can cause troubles. The eclipse can cause more, more trouble in your life. Of course, you should know the dasha, you should know the whole chart, so you should know the line of eclipse because if the eclipse is, is uh, happening in Australia and you live in the UK, this means that the eclipse is very far away from you and you, you cannot see it even with your bare eyes. We are speaking about the sun eclipse, right? Uh, so you should know your chart, you should know the dasha, if you, if you are in a planetary period of Sun, Mar, uh, Mars, Moon, uh, Ketu, Rahu, this, this means that you will feel in a stronger way the energy that is coming from the eclipse. So basically the eclipse, as I told you now, are, uh, will be created by Rahu, Sun and Moon. So when Rahu is creating an eclipse uh, in my personal opinion, Rahu is a planet that gives a lot of um, obsession, a lot of passion, a lot of desire to fulfill the dreams that uh, this person has. So uh, in this eclipse, I think the energy will be more um, obsessive, the energy will be more um, will will bring a lot of opportunities and will bring a lot of desires to fulfill your dreams and goals. Of course, it can create a lot of aggression. It can create a lot of conflicts, competitiveness, problems. So you have to uh, you have to be careful where you are going to put your energy. So now we are going to discuss where will be the eclipses for each ascendant. For Aries ascendant, the eclipse on 30th, of, on 30th of April will be on your first house. So you have to be very careful. You have to pay attention uh, to your body, to your head, not to hurt yourself. When we have, when Rahu is in your first house, Rahu is the planet that causes eclipses, the eclipse on 30th of April. This means that you can get a lot of opportunities to change your life, to even to go abroad. 
or uh, to meet a lot of foreigners or to fulfill your dreams. So this eclipse, depending on your strength of your natal chart, can bring a lot of opportunities. As I told you, as I said in the previous part, uh, don't expect this to happen on the 30th of April. The, the whole energy will be uh, will be developed through through the months uh, through the months through the next few months. For Taurus, the eclipse will be in your 12th house. 12th house is the house of hospitals, foreign lands, prisons, dark places, um, losses, expenditure. Uh, hospitals, I don't remember if I said that. So you have to be careful with your health. Uh, there can be many opportunities to travel, uh, to pay attention, to develop your spirituality. Be careful not to lose money or to expand, uh, to, to uh, spend a lot of money. Uh, last year I had uh, my eclipses uh, in the 12th and 6th house and I had a lot of health issues and I, <laughs> I had to go a lot to hospitals. So be careful with your health. For Gemini people, the um, eclipse is happening in your 11th house. Rahu loves to be in the 11th house. Almost all planets love to be in the 11th house. So you can get a lot of opportunities to develop to get more income and to fulfill your dreams. So pay attention and take advantage. For cancer people, cancer ascendant people, uh, the um, eclipse is happening in your 10th house. So there can be a lot of opportunities related to career and promotion and fame. For Leo people, the eclipse is happening in your 9th house. So 9th uh, house is uh, house of traveling house uh, father, education, um, uh, optimism, religion, philosophy, values, uh, truth. So here I think you have a lot of opportunities to travel, uh, to start a new education, maybe higher education, or even you can earn a lot of, uh, you can get a lot of advantages uh, through your father. So your father can earn can uh, change his life in a good way so you can even you can earn from that for virgo people virgo ascendant the eclipse is happening in your eighth house so you have to be careful um, because eighth house is the house of transformation the house of death and rebirth you have to if you have car you have to be careful how you drive your car you don't be, don't uh, drive fast uh, you have to pay attention to your inner world to your hidden uh, world to to the you can you have you can pay attention to occult mysticism astrology they can help you healing the traumas healing your soul but if you have um, secrets they may go on the surface so you have to be careful and uh, pay attention to your health because eight house is related to surgeries too. Uh, Libra ascendant, uh, your the, asc the eclipse is happening. The sun eclipse is happening in your seventh house. So the seventh house is the house of spouse, of marriage, of business partnership. So you have to be careful here. If Mars, which is the ruler of Aries, is well placed, you can benefit from this eclipse. But if it's ill placed there can be some troubles related to marriage and business partnership. For Scorpio people, the eclipse is in your sixth house, the house of routine, uh, your routine, daily work, health. So you have to be careful with your health. You have to be careful with your colleagues. Don't create conflicts. It's not a good time to go <laughs> to go to the court to ask for divorce or any or this type of things. Of course, depends on the Mars. But if you have uh, you have to be careful with the conflicts and don't take debts now, okay? Uh, for Sagittarius Ascendant people, the eclipse is happening in your uh, fifth house, the house of love, romance, children, investments. So basically there can be a lot of events related to this, uh, to these topics. Of course, depending on your natal chart, they can be positive or negative. Uh, Mars, uh, I mean, um, for sure, the people with the Sagittarius Ascendant, there, there will be events related to love, children, and, and you should be careful with the investments. Capricorn Ascendant, the, uh, the eclipse, the sun eclipse is happening in your fourth house. So, fourth house is mother, motherland, home, 
peace of mind, happiness. So this type of things, this type of events you can expect in the next few months that are after, after the eclipse. Eclipse will, uh, will affect this, this uh, sector in your chart. For Aquarius people, the eclipse will be happening in your third house, house of communication, siblings, brave, bravery, courage, hobbies, own business. So here you have to be careful. Of course, when Rahu is in uh, the third house, you can create, you can start, uh, for example, YouTube channel, your own business. You can create something new, start a new business. So Rahu energy will give you uh, passion, will give you obsession to, to do something, to start a new hobby, to start writing your book or doing something related with art and hence. For Pisces Ascendant, the eclipse is happening in your second house. The second house is the house of money, family, so uh, resources. So there will be events related to probably to more money. You can have new opportunities to, to increase your savings or your family, part of your family can travel a lot or they can go abroad, living abroad. Depends. For example, uh, when Rahu was in my second house, uh, my cousin went abroad. Li she went living abroad. Um, so you can see this in your own um, life. But of course, everything depends on your natal chart. Uh, if you have strong Mars, a good, um, good Mars in your chart, the events will be more positive. Okay, so this is the eclipse. Of course, these are the sectors which are which will be affected in uh, which, which will be affected in the eclipse but the way it will be affected depends on the strength of the whole chart not only the, the things that i'm explaining here are very general but you should know and you should pay attention to these sectors and to the events that are happening there okay thank you for watching hey you you beautiful youtuber Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. I want you to invite you to become part of the family of astrology coaching by Anatoly and together, together like a big online family, we're going to make our dreams come true. We're going to change our lives thanks to astrology and spiritual coaching. New videos are coming every, every week. This is just the beginning. So we together, we are going to make our dreams come true and like, and like the lotus flower, we will rise from the mud of our pain and we will blossom in happiness and fulfillment. Thank you for watching and see you soon.